uh, 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 any application from them in the exact way, same way as we assess any other application. Thank you, Secretary General. Okay, you've been warmed up. We're ready to unleash the audience. We have about 15 minutes. If it's okay, we'll, yeah, yeah, it's can okay. we bundle a few questions and yeah. perhaps that, that will be uh, most efficient. If you could please uh, identify yourself and your affiliation. We have microphones passing around. Sometimes you have to speak very directly into those microphones. It can be a little hard to hear. And so why don't we start in the back? I see a question way in the back there. Just wait for that microphone, please. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Stoltenberg. Uh, my name is Mariam Darsashvili. I'm a fellow at National Endowment for Democracy. Uh, first of all, I should recall that I had pleasure to meeting you a few years ago in Oslo and Utea while I was a, a, a young activist of you know, social democrats in Georgia. Uh, well, now my question... Uh, I applied with this question for the NATO Defense College Fellowship, but I was denied, and I have a hope now that you would help me to um, <laughs> find an answer. Uh, no, to find an answer for this question. Uh, so, well, NATO reshaped its security architecture after the collapse of the Soviet Union, and enlargement helped the, um, of the organization to maintain its strength. And, uh, well, my question is regarding Georgia and upcoming Warsaw Summit. Which do you think that Georgia would make another step towards membership, I mean, membership action plan? Or if not, what would you say would be for Georgia, like what would Georgia benefit from long-term partnership versus membership? Thank you. This would be a good time to ask you for internships, I bet. No, no. uh, to the Eric, uh, Bamberg, Eric, the, right there. Thank you. Um, Eric Papberg from the McCain Institute. Thank you for your words, Secretary General. I wanted to see if I could push you a little bit on the issue of Sweden and Finland. <laughs> Obviously, we've had a lot of uh, developments taking place since the Wales Summit with enhanced partnership and the MOU on host nation support. How do you see this relationship going forward um, as a partnership? Um, and in terms of the membership, we've heard new signals from the Finnish government about keeping the options open. Just wanted to see if I could get your take on how useful would it be from a NATO perspective to have Sweden and Finland be a member? Would that really help NATO uh, defend the Baltics and reassure them? And would it even be provocative to Russia? Thank you. And we'll take one more, the ambassador right here, please. Thank you. Thank you. Claudio Bisognero, the Italian ambassador and the former deputy secretary general of NATO until three years uh, ago. Uh, Italy is very proud of being uh, providing air policing to the Baltic states as we speak. We are one of those seven nations that will be one of the lead nations for the rapid reaction force and we are actively contributing to the Estonian cyber center in, in, in Estonia. At the same time, you did mention the complex challenges emanating from the south. I would be interested in you elaborating from, on that and also what the NATO role could be uh, in those challenges. Thank you. We took you up on the, your kind offer of asking you some questions on the south. So Georgia, yeah. Sweden, Finland, and the complexities of the south. Yeah. So first, uh, uh, about Georgia, so first of all, it's good to see you again after I saw you at Utøya. Uh, then, uh, um, uh, to be Secretary General of NATO gives me a lot of uh, so say power and mandates, but I don't have the mandate to grant any scholarships for the NATO. <laughs> uh, that's a bomb my pay grade. Uh, uh, so, uh, but uh, good luck. Uh, and. Um, uh, but then on, the, on enlargement, also, well, what we have is that we have uh, a very close partnership with Georgia. We, we, uh, we, have, uh, we are in the process of implementing the substantial package, which is uh, expanding further uh, the cooperation and the partnership with Georgia. Uh, we are establishing a training center, and uh, we are really doing very uh, substantial uh, activity together with Georgia, and I think that's important. Uh, it, uh, it, uh, and we also do defense capacity building in, uh, in Georgia, uh, which increases uh, Georgia's uh, ability to uh, defend itself. And uh, I think that's important for Georgia and to the stability in the uh, region. Uh, so when it, but when it comes to membership, uh, I think I have nothing more to say uh, than what has been stated again and again. And, uh, and uh, I was at the summit in, uh, in, um, in Bucharest in 2008, where we made the decisions related to Georgia. Those decisions are restated 